I'm Jill Bearup, and the most common comment I got on my Logical Fallacies video was Seriously though, what is that accent? Sorry, that was the second most common. The most common comment I got on my Logical Fallacies video was But sometimes something happens in exactly the way people said it would, even if it's not logical. So let's talk about that. The thing about logic and fallacies is that both of these things are very helpful, but they are not complete and infallible guides to life. Yeah, you see what I did there. I'm here all week. Fallacies are fallacies if you use them to say It must be true because... and then put forward a fallacious argument. I have three great players on my hockey team, therefore my hockey team must be great. Fallacy. I have three great players on my hockey team, therefore it's more likely that my hockey team's gonna be great. Seems like a reasonable starting point for an argument, yeah. Things like commenting on trends or drawing comparisons or using analogies are not bad things in and of themselves. In fact, they can be quite useful. A lot of human reasoning and decision making is heuristic based, which means it's based on rules of thumb. And those are gut feeling things, right? rather than logic things, and they can be helpful or they can be spectacularly bad. But you can also spectacularly screw up your reasoning while being very, very logical. And for a great example of this, we're going to look at Chesterton's Fence. Chesterton's Fence is a principle expounded by G.K. Chesterton, who was an English writer, poet, lay theologian, journalist, philosopher, literary and art critic, dramatist, man wore a lot of hats, in the late 19th and early 20th century. The principle of Chesterton's Fence goes like this. Reform Reforms to, for example, laws should not be made until you understand the reason that the law is there in the first place. In the matter of reforming things, as distinct from deforming them, there is one plain and simple principle, a principle which will probably be called a paradox. There exists in such a case a certain institution or law, let us say, for the sake of simplicity, a fence or gate erected across the road. The more modern type of reformer goes gaily up to it and says, I don't see the use of this. Let us clear it away. To which the more intelligent type of reformer will do well to answer, If you can't see the use of it, I certainly won't let you clear it away. Go away and think. Then, when you can come back and tell me that you do see the use of it, I may allow you to destroy it. But Chesterton's fence, isn't that an appeal to tradition? After all, isn't it just, something has been this way for a long time, so it must be right? Well, yes. And no. Chesterton's Fence is an example of when only using logical fallacy-based reasoning is going to give you a worse result. Because if you say, just because it's been there a long time is no reason to keep it, and then you knock it down, then you haven't really considered the reason that it's there in the first place. And that might go poorly. Basically, nobody builds a fence for no reason and nobody makes a law for no reason. That's not to say that people don't make stupid laws, they do, or unjust laws, they do, or even laws that were relevant at some point in the past but aren't relevant right now, but nobody builds a fence for no reason. So consider what it's doing before you knock it down. This especially applies in the realm of law because laws are easier to make than they are to change. Don't know about fallacies, but it just seems like common sense to me. Thanks for watching. If you googled this in an attempt to find out what Chesterton's Fence is, I hope you now know. If you'd like to see my original video, which is called 31 Logical Fallacies in 8 Minutes, then there should be a link to it next to my face somewhere. And if you'd like to watch some of the other things I do on my channel, mostly movie reviews and stuff about stage combat, actually, then you should come and have a look around my channel and see if you'd like to stay a while. Hope to see you around.